If you want to travel the galaxy, you're gonna need a sweet ride. Captain, I do not understand. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video game spaceships. Missiles. For this list, we're looking at spaceships that originated in video games. They don't need to be player controlled, but that's always a bonus. Shoot the tentacles to open the core. Number 10, the Kestrel. FTL, faster than light. Kicking off our list is the ship that acts as one of the main characters in Faster Than Light, or FTL. Although you get many different classes of vessel to play around with, all players start with the Kestrel Cruiser as their first ship. Directing her crew, you must repair, upgrade, and maintain this ship if you're going to complete your mission. Along the way, you form a peculiar bond with it, as your fates are so strongly intertwined. If the ship goes down, so does your progress, and you have to start the whole game over again so be sure to keep her safe. Number 9, Ikaruga. Within the epic and mythical backstory of Ikaruga, you play as the last remaining pilot fighting for peace against a sweeping tyrannical force. Given your prophetic nature, you are granted a ship capable of switching between light and dark polarities allowing you to absorb a barrage of enemy lasers and wipe out whole fleets of bad guys. In a world literally divided by conflict, the Ikaruga is your vehicle on this epic journey for peace. Peace through blowing shit up, of course. Number 8, The Outrider. Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire. Sure. Knights of the Old Republic's Ebon Hawk was memorable, but we actually got to put the Outrider through her paces. Playing as Dash Not Han Solo Rendar, he pilots this totally not Millennium Falcon ship in a game set between the storylines of Episode 5 and 6. At certain points in the game, you use the Outrider to escape Hoth, fight through asteroid fields, and even take on a space station. This was the ship that put you smack dab in the middle of the Star Wars universe. Number 7, The Aphelion, Ratchet & Clank Future Series. Crikey! I've never seen a ship move this fast before, Kevin! She's pushing 800 gibbets a second and ain't even broken a sweat! A lot of ships have personality, but this one actually has a personality. And by that, I mean it literally talks to you. Miserable little prophet! I can't believe that you sick around them! After being crash-landed on Fastoon, our furry Lombax and his robot companion fix the ship, only to have it wake up and reveal that it's actually an ancient ship that was built by the Lombax race before they disappeared. Still the best ship for getting you around the magnificent universe of Ratchet & Clank, she's also not too shabby in the offensive department as well. Aphelion, what's the situation on Meridian City? Partly cloudy, 72 degrees. A perfect day for crawfishing. I meant the invasion. Number 6, USG Ishimura. Dead Space. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelyan responding to your distress call. One of the largest ships on this list, the Ishimura is a planet cracker, an epically large ship that's used to rip worlds apart in order to mine their resources. When the game starts, you play as an engineer sent in response to a distress signal. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Once on board, you find the maze-like vessel is now infested with necromorphs members of the crew who have been reanimated into ungodly horrors. <laughs> Fighting tooth and nail to survive, you must discover the mysteries of the Ishimura and its terrible fate. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Number five, the Pillar of Autumn. Halo Combat Evolved. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four Halo is renowned for its fluid first-person shooter combat, as well as its epic storyline, and it doesn't get much more epic than the Pillar of Autumn. The starting point for Halo 1 and the last MacGuffin of Halo Reach, the Autumn is intrinsically linked to the series' mythos. Sadly, as a last-ditch attempt to save the galaxy, Master Chief is forced to detonate the fusion reactor within the ship in order to destroy the first Halo ring. Number 4, Vic Viper, Gradius series. A simple ship with a simple mission, shoot everything. However, the ship doesn't stay simple for long, as throughout the game you're able to upgrade and alter the fighter, slowly turning it into an unbeatable monster. Laser. 
with additional lasers and the ability to drop bombs, all coupled with its extreme maneuverability and agility, the mindless swarms attacking you never really stood a chance. Number 3. The Battle Cruiser StarCraft Series. Where is the air support? Don't get us wrong, StarCraft has a ton of great spaceships and the Protoss Carrier was also a serious contender, but in the end we had to go with the Battle Cruiser. The main Terran capital ships, the Battle Cruisers are one ship war machines, capable of not only defending themselves with smaller gun batteries, but they also are equipped with the powerful Yamato cannons, aptly named after the popular anime series. The Yamato is loaded, and so am I. Whether they're used as a mobile command center during the campaign, or just to even the score in a late game battle, we recommend having them on your side. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Number 2, Normandy SR2 Mass Effect Series. The backbone of Commander Shepard's team in the Mass Effect series, the Normandy is a high speed stealth ship. Oh, shit! Piloted by ace pilot Joker and maintained by its onboard AI, Edie. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000 year old Joe. The Normandy very quickly comes to feel like your home. Although the first iteration of the Normandy was destroyed by the collectors, the second edition SR2 became the ideal ship for traveling to dangerous parts of the galaxy and would have been number one if you could actually fly it. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Before we hop into our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. Number one, the Arwing. Star Fox series. What the heck? Four words. Do. A. Barrel roll. Although Great Fox does look cool, it can compete with the pure awesome factor of the R-Wing. Sleek in design, this small, fast, and versatile fighter is the weapon of choice for Fox McCloud and the Star Fox team. Armed with an upgradable laser and powerful Nova bombs, these things can wipe out entire enemy fleets in the hands of a pro. Fire! Fire! Don't let them through! Also, Bayonetta gets to take one of these babies for a spin in her latest game, just to show that this thing is still as big today as it was in the 90s. No sweat, Fox. I mean, Cereza. Do you agree with our list? Which video game spaceship do you want to do cool tricks in? For more top 10s published every day, do a barrel roll, and then subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Das Vedanya, don't get any Anya.